Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you are new here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use filters in Medibang Paint. Now, filters are just like they are on any other app, except in our apps, they tend to generally help make your drawing a bit more stylized, to change backgrounds, just stuff like that. But there are filters in most drawing apps. These are different from layer blending modes, so please do remember that. So to get to these, you're gonna to want to go into the layer menu first. And you're going to want to find the layer that you want to apply the filter to. So I will make an example layer just so that we can easily see the effects of it. Okay, so here we have a little scribble. I have black, white, and then a bunch of pretty saturated main colors. So to actually get to the filters, you're going to want to go into the layer menu that we're already in and go to these three little dots in the corner of the layer that you want to have a filter on it. Then you're going to want to click filter list right under this filter section here. There are some quick access filters right there, but we'll go into filter lists so that we can see them all in a nice setout. Once in filter list, you will see all the available filters. It is not nearly as much as something like Abyss Paint, but there are a few that you can use well. So we have none here, which obviously is just your default, whatever you came into here with. Then we have hue, saturation, brightness. Here you can change the hue on this main bar here. And for those of you who don't know, the hue is the main color type, not the saturation of it or the darkness of it, but just where it is on the color wheel. So you can change the hue if you want to, because we have a bunch of colors here, it will change them. So these are the original colors, but any shift will change the colors a lot. Then we have saturation. You can up the saturation to essentially make your colors really stand out, the most saturated they can be or you can lower it and have them be less saturated. This does not affect white or black. It should also be noted that hue does not affect white or black either, as you can see right here. Then brightness, this speaks for itself. It's just the brighter you want your colors to be, or the darker you want them to be. 100 tends to be the main default for these, unless it's hue, which is just zero. Then when you're satisfied, you can click cancel or set. I'm gonna be clicking cancel for here and going into other filters. We have Gaussian Blur, which just, it essentially is the default blurring type. This can blur your layers pretty well. It can do pretty extreme blurring, as you can see right here. Then you have Mosaic. This is essentially like Gaussian Blur, but for pixelation. You can either do a little or you can do a lot. Then you have Monochrome, which essentially speaks for itself. It makes your drawing monochrome. Then we have Line Art Extraction. This is essentially the same uh, option as what comes up when you add an image in and it asks you if you want to take away the line art from it. This only tends to really work with drawings that do have line art. It will take away the color if you adjust it right so that you can use it as a transparent line art image. However, we don't need to do that here. But if you did, then you would adjust the black point, mid-tone and white point to fit your line art best. Then we have reverse colors, which does just invert your colors. There is also Tone Curve, but that one is a locked feature. You can go in there and mess around, but you cannot save anything unless you have Medibank Premium, which I do not. And that is all the filters. You can use them all in pretty good ways, but it does only apply to the current layer that you're on. So if you want to have it on multiple layers, I would either merge them and then use the filter, or use the same filter on multiple of those layers. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed, and if you did, maybe consider supporting. Bye!